So what, what kind of, um, what kind of stuff is really exciting to you? What are the, the startups that you're seeing that are like, holy crap, um, that's mm-hmm. cool. Maybe I'm not, it, maybe it's not in my type of fund, but um, this is stuff that's really interesting, that's really cool right now. You know, it's funny. There was a period of a couple of weeks where people said, what are you excited about? And I thought about it a lot because it's a legitimate question. And I realized I'm not sure there is anything I'm excited about right now or recently, which makes me sort of sad. Um, I'm not saying there aren't interesting things going on out there. Maybe I just need to work more hours of the day, although I'm not quite sure where to find them. Maybe they're available at <laughs> 2 a.m. I took a meeting the other day at 12.48 a.m. <laughs> as I landed in the airport because the founder was leaving at six and that's the only option we had. So I'm already using up the one to 2 a.m. slot, I guess. <laughs> uh, but, you know, my goal in life is to find an entrepreneur that shows me a vision of the future that makes me say, wow. Hmm. And it's been a while. I mean, I, I think there's a lot of interesting things happening in insurance tech. Hmm. I think there are big opportunities there. Um, I've been spending a lot of time looking at AR and to a lesser extent VR. I think it's probably too early. I think we're at a betwixt and between time there. And I think in terms of trends, we're sort of at a betwixt and between time as an industry. There's, mm. there's sort of, someone said to me recently, you know, it's a tale of two cities out there. You've got mm. this startup that just got, everything's just right about it. And people want it, want it, want it. And all of a sudden, because there's a massive amount of money on the sidelines, everything goes crazy really fast. But then you've got all the others. You know, I used to you know, always tell my entrepreneurs when they were getting ready to raise, there's only two speeds in fundraising, glacial and rocket ship. And if you spend <laughs> enough time in glacial, hopefully you get to rocket ship. But I, I'm not seeing a lot of rocket ship. Um, it seems a little, I mean, we're not slow. It's not like we're not doing a lot. It's just, now, there's some things that are just about there that are, um, I mean, I guess to, to try to sort of think about what's really been exciting so far, even if it doesn't get me all the way to wow. There was a wow uh, that one of my partners did in, I'll just simplistically say, the database space of all things, mm. which is pretty amazing that you're finding things there. But, you know, with the, the massive data plume we've got going on, I mean, the need to just fundamentally change how that sort of stuff works. I mean, we all this whole, you know, there's been more data created in the last two years than in all eternity. Um, that's great. You've got to figure out a way to manipulate it because there's just a lot. <laughs> and I'm so... That was one. I actually had a meeting today that I, I'm trying to decide if it's wow or just close to it. And it's, hmm. uh, uh, it is not an aggro play, but it, I won't be too specific because I haven't gotten far enough along yet. But That's fine. You know, it's, I haven't done any agricultural technology, but this is in a parallel to that. And hmm. I liked a lot that an entrepreneur made me think about a market I had never thought about before as being much larger than I understood and much more antiquated. I love, I'll tell you what made me say, wow, the first deal I did for, for Canvas. Hmm. It is the combination of AWS and Uber for commercial trucking. It's basically truckload as a service. So if you need 18 wheelers filled with stuff, they're both the solution for you to run that inside your organization and the marketplace to bring you the trucks. And that is an industry that is ridiculously antiquated, ripe for disruption, enormous. Truck driver is the number one job, not just in the United States, but in the world. So, you know, when autonomous comes wow. through, a lot more impact on that than it is on that one, everyday drivers or taxi drivers or anything else. But that one, I mean, not only did I love it when I did it as an A, I loved it when we did it as a B. I, I still, it's just, wow. I mean, it's an awesome, awesome business. It's growing like crazy. Uh, I really, really I'm as excited now as I was then. Um, so that one, obviously, I, it's like a parent, you know. <laughs> but that's a, except as a VC, as a parent, you adopt all your children. <laughs> Interesting. Of a thousand candidates. So 